A Catholic school in Baltimore faces a class action lawsuit after accusations of former teachers sexually assaulted a student on campus. The victim's lawyer claims St. Francis Academy failed to protect its students from a predator. WJZ investigator Mike Kelvin is live at St. Francis in East Baltimore with the disturbing allegations. Mike. Vic, the lawyer fears there could be more victims. The teacher is now out of jail and free, but he still faces child sex and abuse charges. It is truly disgusting when someone in a position of trust and authority takes advantage of a child. Hassan Murphy represents the 15-year-old victim and says her history teacher at St. Francis Academy, Ryan Penalver, preyed upon her, sending lurid texts and emails from his school account, then sexually assaulted the teen and tried to cover it up, making her use the pseudonym Bubblegum for him in her phone. Her friend saw the text messages, and thank God for her friend that he went to the school immediately. According to the class action lawsuit Murphy just filed, Penalver previously had engaged in inappropriate communications with minor students. No other victims have come forward, but Murphy believes there could be more based on his independent investigation. Other students have told us that um, they have information, that they've heard rumors, that they've heard talking. Uh, about other um, inappropriate relationships. The school made headlines last month when it removed Bill Cosby's name from the community center here. He and his wife had donated millions of dollars to St. Francis Academy. And after Penalver's arrest, the school principal wrote a letter to parents saying the teacher was no longer an employee and that St. Francis was committed to providing a safe environment. Police have said they know of no other victims. However, if anyone has any other information or if there are any other victims, we would encourage them to contact police. Now, this lawsuit names the Archdiocese of Baltimore. The Archdiocese tells us they have no relationship with the school. They don't operate it, that it's run by the Oblate Sisters of Providence. We did hear late tonight from the principal of the school, uh, Deacon Curtis Turner. He says he cannot comment on litigation. Live at St. Francis in East Baltimore, Mike Halgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. The accused teacher has a preliminary court hearing set for June the 12th.